Good morning, hello, and welcome back to So What If I Sew. I'm Jess, and if you're new to my channel, um, hello. <laughs> this is my channel all about sewing, dressmaking, and all things stitch related. Now, today I am bringing you this video from an extremely messy house full of boxes because we are moving next week. So, um, so when you watch this, actually, I probably I will have moved. So, hello. <laughs> I had to film this bit before, and you will see why in a minute. So today I want to give you a tour of my sewing space because in the new house we're getting an office which means we will have, well, well we'll have an office to share but it'll be my sewing space when we're not at work which is fantastic. So I'll actually have space, right now we live in a one up, one down maid's net so our living room kitchen is one room which means we work in here, I sew in here, we, we chill in here, the TV and everything is in one room. So I'm really, really excited to have a separate space um, and I'm going to just take you a little tour around my current sewing space. It's an absolute mess because again, we are packing, but hopefully this, show, this will show you what I've got at the moment. And then when we move into the new house, I will show you the empty room and take you for a tour around my proper sewing space. Lots of you asked for this when I said I was moving, so hopefully you enjoy this. This video won't be super long, but hopefully, I, I think it's always nice to show people sewing spaces because a lot of us don't have a sewing room. And I, I wish we did, but we don't. Most of us have a sewing corner or a box all of our sewing stuff goes in while it's not on the dining table, things like that. And I think it's important to represent normal sewing spaces. So for example, my sewing space will never just be my sewing space because I'm working from home. And even then I like working from home and I would like to continue doing so for at least half the time normally. So it's, it's definitely something I have to balance in terms of my desk needs to be functional for work, but also come five o'clock I want to start sewing. I also like to sew before work. So it'll be nice. I've got some plans for the new space. There's also some wonderful storage I'll show you when we get there um, that's going to revolutionise the way I do things a little bit. So I'm very excited about that. So let's go have a look at my current sewing space. So this kind of small bomb site is my sewing space. So here we have tripod, because I've just been taking photos outside. My lovely overlocker is sat over there, and uh, it will have a home in our new house. Um, he's called Arnold, because next to my beautiful sewing machine over here, he looked like an Arnold. She's a she's a Sally, I've decided on. She was a Stella, but now she's a Sally. So this is my desk. Um, I have in this drawer work stuff and um, sewing stuff as well, so it's full of thread and elastic but also like NHS letters and things like that. It's a, it's a real mess. Um, over here I have again mixed work stuff and scissors. Um, down here I have my patterns um, and fabric. This is also fabric and it tends to be upcoming projects so I don't have to get the boxes out and also really bulky fabric goes in here because otherwise it's a pain. Um, please yeah again please excuse boxes of rubbish around at the moment. Uh, down there you can see my other bag that's got notions in it and this bag right here I've had since I started sewing and is actually it's an old paper chase bag but it's my current project bag so whatever I'm actually working on the pieces go in there which is kind of a helpful system for me and they tuck in this space under here. Also over here we have all of my sewing books which are currently on a separate bookshelf but they're down here and you know in between I have any form of open space that would allow me at any point to um to do any form of sewing really um I have to move stuff so this is my current space there is also a little bookcase over there that is empty because the dvds have been emptied into that box that I'm going to adopt in the new space but we will see in the new house what I actually have space for but yeah this is a little tour of my current sewing space <laughs> office 
Um, as you can see, it's already got my sewing machine in a box in it, my desk in pieces. So here we are. I think Adam's going to be over here. So we'll still kind of be back to back. And then, oh my God, look at all this storage, which is going to be amazing. And it goes all the way down and that's built into the wall. So I'm thinking desk where my sewing machine is and then I have shelves above, which is going to be the dream. And then possibly some form of fabric notion cupboard here. Obviously Adam and I will share, so I think he'll have those shelves and I'll have these ones. Um, but yeah, this is like the kind of dream built-in sewing space, right? Very, very exciting. So we've got to go get the rest of the furniture now, but I am very excited to get set up in here. So here we are after a little bit of desk building. So Adam's desk is over here. And then here is my pile of stuff. So we've got a little bookcase over there. I've got the desk, lots of storage, just testing kind of the weight on stuff at the moment. So, with a little bit of magic, I think we'll be good to go. Why don't we see? And here we are. So, starting with the upper cupboards, we have wintry fabric, off cuts, and um, fabric that I will use later in the year, as well as packaging stuff if I'm sending fabric to anyone. Autumnal fabric ready to go. Here are scraps that are big enough to use. And again, some more wintry fabric just behind. And that's my proper camera there for photo shoots and any vlogging I don't do on my phone. We then move down. So I have the iron in here finally. And that's my nice bright desk lamp I use for if I'm doing detailed on picking work in the evening or on black fabric. Uh, and then we have beautiful haberdashery shelf. So notes, sewing machine pedal. So it's currently set up because I'm doing uni work. So I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like as well during the day. Here I have now, this is all built in by the way. This all came with the house and they were like, do you want to keep it? And I was like, yes, yes I do. Uh, so here's my thread, elastic, measuring tapes. Uh, my little, this is my little emergency box that used to live by the desk. And then down once more, oh, there she is looking beautiful with my tripod behind her, normally the case would be on. So that's where my sewing machine will live when I'm not um, sewing. So when, as we are now set up for doing uni work, um, this is where my sewing machine will live. I thought it was better to also show you the sort of storage side. There is my little ironing board. I've repurposed my pattern box, but I'll show you this first. So I've got this little cupboard. In here, I've got some zips because I'm about to film a video about these. So I've kept them there so I remember. Then I've got my sewing machine table and notions like interfacing and um, other bits like acetate and any weird notions that I don't normally use and are quite bulky live down here. And then below we have twirl fabric. So enough of it that's left to do twirls with. And then if we kind of peer into that corner, those are actual twirls I've made and also fat quarters. So I'll show you over here. I think I can get a full size ironing board against here. So I think I am going to get one. Again, this is obviously a project that I am reworking into something else. And yeah, again, more twirls. So those are all bodices in specific sizes. I've written on them what size they are and I use them for fitting if I'm twirling a new pattern or like princess seams or anything. And then here we have all of the patterns that I have either printed out and assembled as PDFs. So they're in their own kind of me written on envelope or yeah, like other um, PDF patterns, A0 ones, things that don't have their own envelope. I'm going to get a nice set of pattern envelopes, but for the moment, these are fine. And that slides under there. It just pops out a bit, but I don't really mind that in the lids at the side because the majority of it will stay clean. And then we have under the desk, my big fabric box is still here. So this is the majority of my fabric. This is the current project bag. The normal current project bag is inside this one currently. And this one's got the next project I'm working on, but it's secret. So I put it in there because it's for the reveal for me and Tamlin. And behind there, you see some sewing magazines and also my ring light. If we move up the desk, normal desk you guys are used to. Obviously got all my scissors, still got my little pin apple and my kind of I like the pins to be next to the desk I'm quite used to that got my lovely inspo board there which I love going up I've got more notions buttons elastic bulky stuff everything sits in here also hand sewing needles and ribbon and things like that live up here and then this is very very exciting there there he is this is Arnold 
this is a, they sound like a middle class couple and I enjoy it. So Arnold is beautiful and uh, I'm very, very excited. I've not got sewing with it yet, which is why the threads will look a bit tangled, but he can be out all the time, which I love. And then I've nicked this bookcase because our new house has loads more bookshelves and uh, we've managed to, <laughs> we had five before, but now we have them plus huge built-in ones everywhere. So I've nicked this one for sewing. So that's my overlocker pedal, sewing books, patterns I've bought that have their own envelopes. So indie through to mass and the kind of indie one stop about here. And then all my sort of notebooks and my stuff. Um, and then my big book of sewing didn't fit anywhere and my cutting mat is behind. So behind me is Adam's desk, but I'll just show you, there is lots of floor space. So if I move the chair, I can actually cut out fabric in here. So I'll show you a view from the window. I'm honestly, like, I'm honestly in love. I'm so excited, even just to work in here generally. I'm so excited to work, I'm so excited to sew in here. I'm finding this space so inspiring. And yes, it's a graveyard immediately over there, but then we have a beautiful, beautiful view across the Chilterns, which is lovely. And uh, obviously nice plants as always, and more books, because when don't we have books? So this is my new sewing space. So here we are, my new background. You can see both my machines, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, I'm so, so excited to get sewing in this space. Like I feel so inspired. I love just being like a little enclosed space off the living room. I love not being right next to the front door as well with my machine. Cause it meant post people and everything. Like, I don't know, I like to sew in my pajamas or you know, shorts and things like that, especially if you're trying stuff on all the time. So being right next to the front door is not ideal. Um, but being up here on the third floor with our cozy little office, I love it. So this is also Adam's office. I've not got an exclusive sewing room. I will be working from home in here as well, but it's wonderful. I love it. It's, I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm saying that so many times, but I'm so excited. So, uh, the first thing I sew in here will be my uh, collaboration with Tamlin, so my surprise garment that we'll be revealing in April. Um, I wasn't able to sew that in the last house because we had a lot to pack and there just wasn't space and I want to make sure I do it justice. So I will be sewing, I've got an assignment due Thursday, so this week, 1st of April. So then Easter weekend, I'm aiming to make that and then I've got a great series of videos for you. So just as a little update generally, if there is anything you want to see, uh, from me in the future if there's any videos you've missed because my content in March has been a little bit different Because we've been moving house. I've not been able to make as much content as I would usually So if there's anything you want to see let me know in the comments below. Let me know which is your favorite bit of my sewing room um, and My heyday vlog will have presumably if my Wi-Fi has behaved because basically we've been without Wi-Fi this weekend Which don't get me started. I'm furious um, so Hopefully if my Wi-Fi has behaved, then my heyday vlog is also out now because I promised two for one. So that is linked below. If it's not out yet, um, then the link will be added below when it is out. But uh, this will definitely go up first because it's sure to. <laughs> but yeah, so you will get to see my last make in our old house. Um, and then I will be shortly revealing my first make here. All that remains for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share, and maybe even subscribe if you want to hear more from me and click the notification bell and it will tell you every time I put out a new video. So thank you so much for watching guys. And now I'm going to do some sewing in here.